One evening I tied up my boat and wandered across the grass in the school grounds. It was twilight and I could hear the clip-clop of bat on ball. And I could hear the last tennis game being played. And I reflected. It had been a full day, chock full of activity. I remembered that in the morning that machine had dropped down out of the sky near where we were having a picnic. It had been truly a day of activity. And you know, we must have this clang and rattle. We must, hour by hour, relentlessly. Then a thought came to me. Would my tinkle be forgotten? I mean, my tinkle, my, my jingle jangle. And were the people who had lived and died unnoticed and had left nothing? If I should die, think only this of me, that there is perhaps somewhere some place, something that is forever Whitcomb. I heard the boys going into tea and I heard the reassuring hiss of the kettle boiling. I was going to go inside and I was going to open a tin of baked beans. I wanted just to get into a cubbyhole on my own and think of nutwood. Then I thought again and I thought about an old boy who long ago had said farewell, had said farewell by the old gate. He'd become a pilot. And he told us once on the radio that one day he'd strayed to a wonderful island just off the coast of Scotland. He'd stayed there and opened a small shop selling licorice. He was having a topping time and was in the pink, hoping this found us the same. And then I wandered again across the grass, not noticing my feet crushing it, and not noticing the mix of flowers either, for I was hurrying to answer the call of a fairground. Incidentally, I hope you like this album. It's a bridge over the abyss, but it will break.